What? Dick. Hey there guys, Conquertron here, and it actually turns out I forgot my mic. Hold on. I think that did it. Hopefully it sounds better. If not, then something's wrong. But anyways, welcome to a new Skyliner unboxing thing. I got a uh, package from the SL site. A total of 11 different items. So, yeah, let's just get into it. I, usually when I do these things, I open the box and I just show the Skylanders. But this time, I've actually got a box. I haven't even looked. I, I mean, I looked into it just to see that everything was there. But I haven't taken anything out, so I actually haven't seen them if they look any good. I even got the bubble wrap as proof. Because usually I don't do that, but let's do this. So first off, let's get in this lot. I got a lot of different things that I like didn't already have, like brand new, unique Skylanders, I should say. But there is a few that we already do have. That being Light Core Prison Break. Like I got Light Core Prison Break more than anything just to complete complete my collection. But I also really enjoy Prison Break. I don't think he was that much. I forget. Actually, I can just look on the paper. Uh, it doesn't say the prices anymore. That's silly. Okay, anyways. Light Core Prison Break, I think it was two bucks. I haven't seen if you looked up, but I love Prison Break, so I've got no problem with that. And like I said, it's orange base, and most, a half of these, a little more than half are actually, wait, no. Yeah. A little more than half are orange bases. And speaking of light core, we've got light core shroom boom. Now this is cool for a few reasons, because with light core shroom boom, I think I might have every single light core. Or at least a version, because I've got... No, I don't have light core pop fizz. He's a lot. But I've got legendary light core chill, light core drobot, light core eruptor, these two. Um... Light core hex and light core jet vac. So yeah, but this actually looks pretty cool. And also, this means that I have got every single variation of Shroom Boom possible: Series One, Series One Metallic, Series Two, and then Series. It's just light core, just light core Shroom Boom. He actually looks pretty good. I actually like this figure the most. It's got some wear on the and, uh, little nubs on the top, but I think that's fine. It was secondhand. Like, what'd you expect? He's also really unbalanced. What the heck, dude? Both of them are. No? Okay. This work. Thank you. So something else that... This is... Um, it's another uh, Series 2 that we didn't already have. We have the Series 1, but we don't have the Series 2. That being Series 2 Sonic Boom. Now, I think the figure actually looks really cool. I love the little child right here. It really adds to it. And the look on Sonic's boom face is like, like, okay, you do you, I guess. I don't know. But honestly, I haven't had a ton of experience with Sonic boom, but hopefully now I will. But the uh, experience that I did have was pretty good. There. Yeah, that is zoomed in. All right. So that's it for repeats. All these characters I have here now are brand new to me anyways. So let's get over with the last orange base, Series 2 Double Trouble. I don't have Double Trouble yet. I think he looks pretty good. And like with Sonic Boom, he's got the little uh, Tiki clone right here. The wand is kind of bent, but honestly, I'm not... I kind of knew that was coming just because, like, it's a thin piece of... Plastic that usually happens. Oh, yeah, I fixed it. Yeah, what do you know? But Double Trouble actually looks really good, and I'm actually quite glad to have him. Really cool figure, too. All right, so that's it for orange bases. All that's left is blue bases, basically. So first up, we have Zulu. 
Zulu is one that I've kind of been meaning to get for a while just to test out because personally, I don't think his design is the greatest. I like the cape, but other than that, it's not really the greatest. But his gameplay does look pretty good, though. So I'm excited to try him out because I've got next to zero experience with him. Next up, we have a fan favorite being Popthorn. Popthorn, right there. It's chubby little face. Um, I really like Popthorn. I think he looks good. Personally, I think they could have done... He, he could use a little cleaning with all of this dust and crap. I don't know if that's a dust or if that's stuck on there. But regardless, I think... Like, the figure's kind of basic. It's just kind of a round ball, but I'm excited to try him out. And last but not least is Dune Bug. Now, I saved Dune Bug for last just because I've seen um, videos and people complimenting him on his paint job, but it looks so much better in real life than it does in pictures. It looks really cool. Personally, I think Dune Bug's really cool. And with Dune Bug, I have at least one core from each element in Swap Force, Popthorn, because I didn't have Scratch, so that means Popthorn had to take that place. Uh, I had Bumble Blast for Zulu, but still, honestly, Dune Bug, I think I'm actually quite excited for him. But that actually does it for figures. Seven different figures. We move on here. Oh, dang. <laughs> This is really cool. I got Skylander Spires Adventure for the 3DS. I've been playing my 3DS a lot lately. I've completely 100%ed Swap Force besides for a few hats. Um, Giants, I've completed the game. I've gotten most of the stars. Swap Force, I didn't actually... Uh, I mean, Spires Adventure, I didn't have. I think out of all of them, Giants is my favorite story and all that. But I just really like Swap Force's um, mechanic where you could scan in every single Skylander and uh, have them all so you can portal everywhere. I do have a portal that will work with this, hopefully. If it doesn't, I'm going to be absolutely pissed. But I think that'll work. Will I play this on camera? I don't know. Just because... Uh... I don't have a DS capture card, so I, I don't know if I'll be getting one anytime soon. And anyways, I'm not sure if I could wait that long for it to even get here, because I'm really, really excited about this. I, I have next to zero experience with this game. Not Skylanders, but with the 3DS specifically, I haven't seen any... Oh, shoot. I knocked over my mic. I haven't seen any gameplay to it so for that much. So oh, yeah. And the next three items that actually is six items is is like oh 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 is the Skylanders Giants Tops card collector packs. I got three of them. I love these things. For Christmas, I got an entire Swap Force Tops pack of um I think it was a total of 24 packs. And I opened all of them right then and there, and it was actually pretty good. So I'll probably have to do a collection video of that later. Um, I'm pretty sure I'm going to open these right here right now, just because I want to. I think it would be fun. Actually, mm, you know what? I'm going to wait. Hopefully it'll go up next week, if not before. So, that's it. I also have an impressions video of most of these characters out. Really just one, two, three, four. And maybe a Skylander Spires Adventure review. But that should do it for today. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoy it, and I'll see you all next. Thank you guys for watching. It really means a lot to me that you've made it all the way to the end here. So make sure to subscribe and like. It really helps the channel out a lot. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you all next time.